The MLS season kicks off this weekend on FS1, and we've got two new teams this season, including the Atlanta United. So joining me today is Atlanta's president, Darren Eels. Darren, thank you so much for being here. Now, you seem like you're a great fit for an expansion team because obviously you previously worked for the English Premier League. So how do you compare your challenge in Atlanta, all these new things, with all the experience you have overseas? Yeah, well, look, it's been the, the big difference is obviously Atlanta United has its first ever game on Sunday. It's never played a, you know, a game until now. Tottenham Hotspur, the team I worked for before, had been around for 125 years. So, you know, the exciting challenge for Atlanta United has been that blank sheet of paper and building a club up from scratch. So, you know, we, we're so excited about the first game on Sunday. It's going to be a, a momentous occasion for Atlanta and uh, it just can't come quick enough. The roster paper also was very blank, so you had to start from scratch there as well. So how much have you looked into the international players while you're trying to build that new roster? Yeah, that was a big part for us, Christine, in building a squad because the way it works with Major League Soccer, you have some players from the expansion draft, but by their very nature, they're players that other teams haven't protected. So you're really looking at squad players when you're looking at the expansion draft. So for us, we're allowed eight international slots. It was really important that we tried to source the best eight international players we could. So, you know, we looked all over the globe from Ghana. We've got players from Paraguay, from Argentina, from Ireland, from Germany. So we tried to cast the net very wide, use the contacts I had from my time when I was in the Premier League with Tottenham Hotspur to put together the most competitive team we could from the start. They're also a very young team, and I'm sure that that brings some challenges on its own. How exciting is that, though, to have all those young guys? Yeah, look, it was a it was something that we did right from the very start. The vision for our team was we felt that now 20 years Major League Soccer has been going, we could take some players that weren't necessarily at the end of their career, um, actually try and take some players in the prime of their career. So that's what we did with our three, what they call the designated players. So they're the players over and above the salary cap. So we took three players that are 24 years or younger. Miguel Almiron, a player who's from Paraguay that was playing in Argentina and been linked with clubs in Europe like Arsenal. Uh, we took Hector Vialba and we also took Joseph Martinez, who was playing for a team in Serie A in Italy. So the idea was, let's take players who are younger, who are in this, come towards the prime of their career, and try and prove to them that you can come to MLS, uh, not just at the end of your career, but at the very start. So it's a great team, obviously, then for fans to watch, which is cool because you're getting your own facility in 2017, but have already sold 50,000 tickets to the home opener at Georgia Tech's football field, which, by the way, is Sunday at 7.30 Eastern right here on FS1. So how supportive has the fan base been so far? It's been incredible. I mean, I think the big thing when I took the job two years ago, Christine, was they said Atlanta wasn't a sports city. So that was the big sort of watch out that I had from people when I was talking about taking this new role. But of course, you know, that's shown to be absolutely crazy as far as Atlanta United is concerned. We've got over 30,000 season ticket holders. And we've yet to kick a ball. So to put that in perspective, it's the largest ever season ticket for, an, for a new expansion team. But it's the second largest in the league bar none. So already we're the second biggest team coming into Major League Soccer and it's actually more season tickets than Tottenham Hotspur, my old club in the English Premier League, has at the moment. So it's just been phenomenal the level of uh, support we've had. You mentioned about the game on Bobby Dodd on Sunday. We expect that to be a sellout of around 54, 55,000. So this is unbelievable to have this level of support before we've kicked a ball. And our hope now is that those fans that come to the game will experience the unique atmosphere that you have at soccer games and hopefully they're going to catch the bug and want to come back again. Well, Darren, once they do kick the ball, I think you're the best guy to ask this. For the rest of the season, what should we expect in the first year of this team? Look, we know it's difficult as an expansion team. The last 10 expansion teams, only one of them, Seattle Sound, has made the playoffs in their first year. But we try to build the roster and approach everything to be as competitive as we can. So, you know, we're going to play an exciting, fast and fluid style of play. We've got the young players that we talked about earlier. Our coach is Tata Martino, whose previous two jobs were coach of the Argentinian national team and FC Barcelona before that. So we've got a world-renowned coach that has an exciting, attacking style of play. So I think we'll be exciting to watch. I think We'll score lots of goals. We may concede a lot of goals at the other end, but hopefully we'll score more than we concede. But the idea is that, you know, we want to be competitive, exciting. Our fans are going to hopefully get behind us. And with a bit of luck, who knows, perhaps we can squeak into the playoffs. And once you make the playoffs, anything can happen. Well, it sounds like it's going to be very exciting. Darren, thanks so much for talking with us and good luck this weekend. Thanks, Christine. Good to talk to you.